Um, a few years ago, a long, a long time ago. Oh God, 20, 20 years ago, around 86, 87. I went to a computer show in London and uh, I, I, I saw this amazing new computer. I, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I'd always been a computer fan. And I'd, com I, I'd, I'd used uh, polytechnic computers, you know, by the punch cards and the tapes and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I, I went to this computer show. Oh, I had a Spectrum, which was, which was really nice. Um, but I went to this computer show because I'd heard about this new computer and it was called an Amiga. 87, 86, 87, something like that, I think it was over here. Anyway, I went to this computer show and um, <clears throat> they, uh, there was this um, person, they were doing this demonstration and it was, um, uh, that they were showing, uh, let me, I just want to put this up, sorry, hang on, so you know what you're looking at, this is Aros. Here, they were um, showing off this fantastic new computer, which uh, uh, they were showing, and multitasking and it could do sound, and it could do everything, and, and while I was, we was all sitting there watching it, we could hear this noise, and uh, I, I, I didn't know what this noise was. No one knew what this noise was, and you could hear this big, funny banging noise. Um, and then other people were doing the work on the screen, and you could see what was going on. It was, it was fantastic clock. You know, let, you know, they had the clock running, and they had all kinds of stuff going on. And it was stunning, but we had this noise in the background. Anyway, about a quarter of the way through the demonstration, they did this. Yeah, they dragged down a screen, and what was behind it? Boing ball. Screen dragging on Aros. Come on, what can we say about this? Now, uh, Deadwood and I think Sonic uh, Pavels had an awful lot of uh, influence on this, but, but Deadwood, uh, Christoph, did this. I mean, I, I've been chasing him for ages, um, but he's now completed this screen dragging. Do you see that? Yeah? Proper screen dragging on Aros. Oh, and we just happened that Ian's um, very kindly. Uh, I asked him today because this only arrived like two days ago. I asked Ian very kindly if he could update the Boing Ball demo. And between Deadwood and Ian, they made it full screen and they added some sound. And I hope the sound's coming out okay um, because the volume's actually a little bit low. But um, this is what made me fall in love with the Amiga in the first place. 